when I was young, one thing every boy of my age wanted to be was an engine driver. And 50 years later, I got my chance on the Seven Valley Railway. Well, we're running late in the sorry state on 82.15. She's overdue for boiler work and I can't get her to steam. With a thousand tons of coal behind and the tender full of slack. Me mate sent me to Coventry and he just won't dance the back. Well, smoking my eyes. The Seven Valley run various courses for budding engine drivers and the day began at Budley Station. After an initial health and safety briefing, it was time to go. <laughs> Weighing in at 108 tonnes, number 7802 Bradley Manor, was a former Great Western Railway locomotive built in 1939. Climbing aboard the footplate, we received more instructions from our two instructors. The regulator allows steam out of the boiler into the cylinders. It goes through the valves, which are controlled by this, into the cylinders, pushes the pistons, makes the wheels go around. It's an open and shut tap. That is where we roll. The train we coast in that position. That allows steam into the lubricator to keep the front all oiled up. To get the train moving, we need to be very gentle. Yeah. It's very gentle, and you can feel and hear the engine working. We're not going to go anywhere, we're in mid-gear. So that's what we'll listen for, and we don't need much, and the train will move away. Yeah. I'll obviously um, let you know what you need to do. So the regulator's oh, there. Yeah. Now at the moment, his engine's got a bit of a fault with the reservoir side. Ignore that. I'll make sure you're all right on that side. So we have about 23, 24 inches. It is. Okay. Yeah. We have about 23, 24 inches. And actually, take a while to come up. It's going to take all no, the no, air no, out of no, that. No, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. And, when, and when the vacuum is deployed, the brakes come on. If we're running at say 23 inches, I'll say drop it down to 20. We'll put a little bit in, it'll bring the needle down to 20. And that will rub the brake and we'll start slowing down. Or we'll bring it down to 17. And then as we stop, the trick is take the brakes off as we come to a stop. The fire itself is not as hard as people may have to do. We're not expecting you to shovel coal constantly from the tank to the fire box. The coal itself actually has quite a long time, not as long as it did back in BR days. They use a lot of Welsh coal for Western engines in BR days. You put it in the firebox and you put it in about 10-15 minutes before you needed it. The coal would heat, and as it heated it expanded, and as it expanded it grew the fire. The hotter the fire, the more it grows. Rob and I took the controls after arriving at Kidderminster to take Bradley Manor for three miles all the way back to Bugley. I'll say put it in 45, that's where that pimple is there. Oh, right. But what I'll probably say is just bring you back to the pimple or the shoulder or whatever it is we've got. That's forward. Forward is forward, backward is backwards. So that is currently now in full forward here. Right, ready to start up. Six minutes. That's all we're looking for. Put the shovel up and then just. Yeah. So, this is the back of the firebox. Up front of the engine is the front. So currently, it's nice thin fire. We need to put some on before we go, and then as we go along, we need to put some more on. Yeah. Um, it's a case of little and often. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, even two shovelfuls at a time. But every five minutes or something like that, just to keep it ticking over. I mean, we're not, not a very heavy train. What was it, 34 tons? Is That's it? it yeah. While Rob drove the engine, I shoveled coal for half the journey before we swapped over. Open the regulator, nice and gently. Use both hands if you want, it's quite a. Yeah. Okay, shut it down slightly. A bit more, a bit more regulation. Okay. Reverse, sir. The I never imagined how hot it was on the foot plate, nor how heavy the controls were. A 
on entering Beardley Tunnel, everything went black. The only light coming from the firebox. Push the brake all, all the way across. That's it. Now we're safe. We've stopped. Um, we're, we're all here as volunteers. We love every minute of it. It is hard work at times, but you know we're here because we enjoy ourselves. And we also enjoy sharing the experience with the likes of you guys because it, it gives everyone else a picture of what we go through, as, you know, even though it's just our hobby. Um, we managed to get Bradley Manor back to Beaudley in one piece and received our certificates for a job well done. Smoke in my eyes, soot in my hair, cinders in my shoes. I'm watching the needle fall in the way and singing the eight freight blues. Now the driver comes from Mother Welly's face I can't abide. He only knows full forward gear with the regulator wide. I can't touch his injector, and mine is short of breath. I wish his balls would turn to bulldogs and bite the sun to death. Well, smoke in my eyes, soot in my hair, cinders in my shoes. I'm watching the needle fall in the way and singing the eighth great blues. Smoke in my eyes, soot in my hair, cinders in my shoes. I'm watching the needle fall in the way and singing the eighth great blues. <laughs> 